Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today is, memor is the memorial of St. Cornelius, Pope and Martyr, and St. Cyprian, Bishop and Martyr. St. Cornelius was ordained Bishop of the Church of Rome in 251. He fought against the Novatian Kestematics, and with the help of Cyprian, was able to enforce his authority. Driven into exile by the Emperor Gallus, he died in 253 at Civitavicia. His body was brought to Rome, where he was buried in the cemetery of St. Callistus. St. Cyprian was born of pagan parents in Carthage around the year 210. He was converted, ordained, and subsequently made bishop of that city in the year 249. By his writings and his actions, Cyprian guided the church through difficult times. In the persecution of Valerian, he was exiled, then martyred on the 14th of September, 258. We will now have the morning prayer of the church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our program, in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my, my mouth shall declare your praise. Come, let us worship Christ, the King of Martyrs. Come, Come let, let us, us worship, worship Christ, Christ, the King, King of, of Martyrs. Martyrs. Cry out with joy to the Lord all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him singing for joy. Come, Come let, let us, us worship, worship Christ, Christ, the King, the King of, of Martyrs. Martyrs. Know that He, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to Him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Come, Come let us worship, worship Christ, Christ, the King, King of martyrs. martyrs. Go within his gates giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Come, Come let, let us worship, worship Christ, Christ, the King, King of, of martyrs. martyrs. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Come, let us worship Christ, the King of Martyrs. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ, the King of Martyrs. Please be seated. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Renew in me a steadfast spirit. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. O wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done. That you may be justified when you give sentence, and be without reproach when you judge. O see, in guilt I was born. A sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart. Then in the secret of the heart, teach me wisdom. O purify me, then I shall be clean. O wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bonds you have crossed may revive. From my sins turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God, Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help. With the spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your way, and sinners may return to you. O rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your joy. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall declare your praise. 
For in sacrifice you take no delight, burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice a contrite spirit, a humble contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion, rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocaust offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Rejoice, Jerusalem, for through you all men will be gathered to the Lord. Let all men speak of the Lord's majesty and sing his praises in Jerusalem. O Jerusalem, holy city, he scourge you from the work of your hands, but will again pity the children of the righteous. Praise the Lord for his goodness and bless the king of his ages, so that his tent may be rebuilt in you with joy. May he gladden within you all who were captives, all who were ravaged, may, may he cherish within you for all generations to come. A bright light will shine to all parts of the earth. Many nations shall come to you from afar, and the inhabitants of all the limits of the earth, drawn to you by the name of the Lord God, bearing in their hands their gifts for the King of heaven. Every generation shall give joyful praise in you, and shall call you the Chosen One, through all ages forever. Go then, rejoice over the children of the righteous, who shall all be gathered together. All shall bless the Lord of the ages. Happy are those who love you, and happy those who rejoice in your prosperity. Happy are all the men who shall grieve over you, over all your chastisements. For they shall rejoice in you, as they behold all your joy forever. My spirit blesses the Lord, the great King. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Zion, praise your God, who sent his word to renew the earth. O oh, praise the Lord Jerusalem, Zion, praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed the children with, uh, within you. He established peace on your borders. He feeds you with finest wheat. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. He showers down snow white as wool. He scatters hoarfrost like ashes. He hurls down hailstones like crumbs. The waters are frozen at his touch. He sends forth his word and it melts them. At the breath of his mouth, the waters flow. He makes his word known to Jacob, to Israel his laws and decrees. He has not dealt thus with other nations. He has not taught them his decrees. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who gave saints Cornelius and Cyprian to your people, as diligent shepherds and valiant martyrs, grant that through their intercession we may be strengthened in faith and constancy and spend ourselves without reserve for the unity of the Church. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if Christ is preached as raised from the dead, how can some among you say there is no resurrection of the dead? If there is no resurrection of the dead, then neither has Christ been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, then empty too is our preaching, empty too your faith. Then we are also false witnesses to God, because we testified against God that he raised Christ, whom he did not raise, if in fact the dead are not raised. 
For if the dead are not raised, neither has Christ been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, your faith is vain. You are still in your sins. Then those who have fallen asleep in Christ have perished. If for this life only we have hoped in Christ, we are the most pitiable people of all. But now Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. Hear, O Lord, a just suit. Attend to my outcry. Hearken to my prayer from lips without deceit. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. I call upon you, for you will answer me, O God. Incline your ear to me, hear my word. Show your wondrous mercies, O Savior of those who flee from their foes to refuge at the right hand of God. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. Hide me in the shadow of your wings, but I in justice shall behold your face. On waking, I shall be content in your presence. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. Please stand. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus journeyed from one town and village to another, preaching and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of God. Accompanying, accompanying him were the twelve and some women who had been cured of evil spirits and infirmities. Mary, called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out. Joanna, the wife of Herod's steward Chusa. Susanna, and many others, who provided for them out of their resources. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning po sa inyong lahat and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag. We discover or we see in today's Gospel reading that these women of worth, at least three of them are named, had an, had an encounter with the Lord. Maaring hindi documented except for the, the Gospel of St. Luke. But it is an encounter Nonetheless, these women heard about Christ sapagkat uh, marami na ang nakakaalam ng kanyang mga ginagawang milagro. These women made their way to Christ and they experienced something that they have never experienced before. This encounter with Jesus led to these women being transformed by Jesus and it's undeniable that the power of Jesus transformed their lives for example uh, Mary Magdalene was mentioned meditalie no seven demons came out of her by the authority and command of Jesus 
di ba transformation yun physically and spiritually while these three are mentioned it is inferred that there were also other women perhaps not named women who had been healed delivered and transformed blessed and saved by Jesus they had an encounter they had an experience of the Lord and they were transformed they were changed hindi lamang inwardly but even outwardly and we see as a result of these <clears throat> two things they willingly supported and followed Jesus and uh, in verse 2 the women were with him and supported him from their possessions in other words they became part of the project of proclaiming the kingdom of God tinulungan nila si Jesus at ang kanyang mga apostles hindi sila apostles but they followed the Lord and helped in the project it is very profound indeed these women did not just get a blessing and then umalis they stayed with Jesus and they remained to be a blessing. Their lives were so impacted by their encounter with Jesus that they chose to follow Him until the end. Makikita natin yan doon sa Kalbaryo na andun din si Mary Magdalene. And it is significant during that time, the time of the Lord, hindi ang karaniwan na meron sumusunod ng mga babae sapagkat ang kanilang lugar ay ang tahanan. So these women <clears throat> had an experience, a very profound and deep experience in meeting the Lord and experiencing the Lord in their lives. At yan ay katulad rin ng ating mga karanasan sa ating experience at sa ating encounter sa Panginoon. Sa araw-araw na tayo ay nagsisimba, nagdarasal at nananalangin. O di kaya yung mga pilgrims na kung saan saan pagaling. At sinasadya talagang magpunta dito sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Parang may magnet, parang may tumatawag sa atin upang bisitahin muli ang isang babae who also encountered the Lord as His mother. Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, isa rin siyang babae. At alam din natin kung anong naging transformation ng ating mahal na ina ng Manawag nung kanyang sinabing yes doon sa invitasyon ng anghel na siya ay magiging ina ng ating tagapagligtas. So let us think and pause for a while. Ano ba yung impact ng Panginoon sa ating buhay? Ano ba yung nagiging epekto? Hindi lamang sa ating mga petisyong hinihingi, kundi yung pagbabago na nangyayari sa ating buhay. Hindi lamang minsan, hindi lamang makalawang beses, kundi palagi. Sabi nga nila, kapag ka daw ikaw ay uh, palagi nagmimisa, nagkukonsume ng Eucharist sa misa, dapat makita rin at malarawan o masalamin ang Panginoon mismo sa ating buhay, sa ating pagkatao, and how we deal with one another. So like these women, they did not just receive a blessing like us when we come to a pilgrimage place like Manawag, we ask for blessings. But more than the blessings and the gifts that we receive, I think we too should look and be thankful for the transformation, the change that happens to us within us. At sana'y makita rin ito ng mga taong importante sa ating buhay, mahalaga sa ating buhay. That indeed, hindi lamang mga gifts o mga blessings ang nat ating natanggap, kundi tayo mismo, tayong ating pagkatao ay nagiging blessing para sa iba. We now stand to offer our prayers and petitions. Full of hope and confidence, we now make our prayer to God the Father, 
anxious for an increase of His presence in our life. For each intention, we are going to say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may continue to grow and be a symbol of justice, love, and truth in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That as a community, we may not be idle in our life of faith, but every day seek God, even our difficulties and trials. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That children <clears throat> may grow in the ways of grace and mature into Christ-like people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may be strengthened in their faith by uniting their sufferings with the suffering of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For vocations and the needs of the province, and for our brothers and ministry, as St. John Lateran and St. Albert the Great, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, and for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our beloved dead may reap the fruits of peace, joy, and serenity in God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, help us grasp the importance of the time in which we are living. Open our hearts to your word so that we may always bear fruit. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this swine to offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Let us pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the offerings of your people in honor of the passion of your holy martyrs, Saints Cornelius and Cyprian, and may the gifts that gave them courage under persecution Make us, too, steadfast in all trials, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. 
In your mercy, you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance, you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out. And without end, we acclaim. <clears throat> Fount of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. <clears throat> for this is my body, which will be given up for you. <clears throat> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <clears throat> the Mystery of Faith Cristo ay tunig ali, sarili ay inihay, bilang pagkaitinuli, pinagsasaluhan atin, hanggang sa siya'y lumating, hanggang sa siya'y lumating. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, saints Cornelius and Cyprian, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to pray. Our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us and lead us not into temptation, temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with you will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Sa inyo pong lahat, peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I not worthy that, that you should, should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. How precious the death of those who purchased eternal life by shedding their blood. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of all that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, you my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory, Glory to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. How, How precious the death of those who purchased eternal life by shedding their blood. Let us pray. Through these mysteries which we have received, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that by the example of the martyrs, Saints Cornelius and Cyprian, we may be strengthened with the fortitude of your Spirit to bear witness to the truth of the Gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. The devotees of Our Lady of Manawa, the October Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on October 2, 2022. We invite you to participate in our Novena Masses, which will start from September 23 to October 1, 2022. If you wish to sponsor one or several Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for Masses area and submit it with your donation, where you will be provided with an acknowledgement receipt or you may visit our website at www.manawagminorbasilica.org for the online PAMISA. All names of donors and sponsors will appear in our electronic souvenir program. Thank you very much for your continued support. Please stand. Once again, thank you very much for joining us in celebrating the Holy Eucharist today at this time. Please continue to pray for us and the work entrusted to us in this part of the Philippines, shepherding pilgrims and everyone coming from all over the world. We promise to pray also for you and your intentions and for your loved ones in all our prayer activities here at the Minor Basilica. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We have offered the Eucharist. We go in peace, glorifying the Lord with our lives. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick and for the blessing of rosaries and religious articles. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good hills. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And in memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. <laughs>